Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. And today I finally have something worth talking about. We're going to be talking about artificial intelligence coming to AMD. So we're talking about AI upscaling, similar to what NVIDIA is doing with DLSS. Now, I've always said that this was a weak point on AMD and this is why they're getting trounced by the RTX 40,000 series. It just does better ray tracing. Now when you compare both graphic cards with just normal uh, traditional rasterization, AMD is pretty much neck and neck and it's sometimes it's even outperforming a 4090 or a same class GPU. So they're really behind in their ray tracing and upscaling using the AI or using a neural network. Now, today we're also getting news that the PlayStation 5 Pro will also be supporting artificial intelligence. Now, this is a really big deal. Now, if the PlayStation 5 Pro is actually confirmed to be using AI upscaling, I got to say it's probably going to be a very big W for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, AI upscaling, the way it's done on NVIDIA at least, it upscales your image. Most of the times it looks better than the native 4K image. And you're also putting less work on your GPU and you're getting higher frame rates and you're not perceiving any type of lag or any type of degradation to the picture. Now, sometimes the implementation isn't perfect like all things, but for the majority of the time, it is pretty good. Now, I would say DLSS from where it started to where it is now, I actually prefer to play my games with DLSS. I'd rather get that 144 FPS using ray tracing, everything maxed out and having a pristine image quality. That is the thing. Now we're going to have to see how AMD's implementation of this is, but it is very promising for AMD. Now let's read a little bit of the article from videocards.com. Like usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now they go on to say that AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution released in 2021 came two years behind NVIDIA DLSS. The first generation of FSR was based on spatial upscaling technique, which enabled many gamers to take advantage of a simple upscaling thanks to open source cross vendor and cross-platform support. Then FSR2 expanded on that support by introducing a more complex and higher quality temporal upscaling technique. What FSR is not is an AI-powered algorithm, thus not requiring special AI cores to work efficiently. This is the main difference between DLSS and XESS, which take advantage of AI to fix temporal artifacts. DLSS requires tensor cores, while EXSS has two versions of GPU supporting DP4A instructions and its XMX core base implementation that, that offers better quality and performance. Now, using all of these uh, different GPUs and these techniques of AI upscaling, I have to admit that FSR, it's not as good as DLSS. Like you can really notice it with the artifacts. When you have a fast moving image or you have some foliage, it just doesn't look good in FSR. Now, I will say that FSR 2 is a big improvement. FSR 3 is much better, but it still does not compare to DLSS. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. Lots of other reputable sites have done a side-by-side -side comparison, and if you have seen any of them, it is obvious that DLSS is a superior method, and of course it is. It's using artificial intelligence to piece in the missing pieces, and it looks a lot better for it. Now, Mark Papermaster, which is AMD CTO, he said 2024 is a great year for us because we spent so many years on our hardware and software capabilities for AI. We have just completed AI enabling on our entire portfolio. So your cloud edge PC and embedded devices and gaming devices. We're enabling our gaming devices to upscale using AI and 2024 is a really huge deployment year. So now the bedrock's there, the capabilities are there. And I've talked to you about all the partners that we have so 2024 for us is a huge year of deployment so it's official amd is supporting ai upscaling they're gonna have new products coming out this year now when i was looking at all of the information they weren't specifically talking about the playstation 5 pro however we do know that the playstation 5 pro is coming out this year they could be talking about a new GPU for the PC that they are releasing in 2024. So I don't want to say this is absolute concrete evidence that the PlayStation 5 Pro 
Pro is going to have AI upscaling. I will say it does give it a much higher probability of indeed having AI upscaling. And this is a huge deal. I don't think you guys really understand. Games that struggle with frame rate with AI upscaling are going to perform a lot better. They're going to look a lot better. You're going to be able to have a higher resolution output. And this isn't like checkerboard rendering. The image is pristine and most times it looks better than the native image because it's just a sharper, more detailed image. And once again, you get the improvements, not just in the image quality, but in the frame rates. And that is a huge deal when you're thinking about consoles because the one limiting factor of all of the consoles is the frame rate. We're in 2024 and we're still talking about some games on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X being stuck at 30 FPS or like 40 FPS. Really, all of these games should be running at 60 FPS. And with this technology, I don't see any reason why the PlayStation 5 Pro couldn't run the majority, if not all of their games at 60 FPS. Now let's go over to WCCFTech.com and like usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now this is their take on it. Now they go on to say that AI upscaling is set to be deployed starting this year. AMD's gaming services, which include the yet to be revealed PlayStation 5 Pro and PlayStation 6. Now I don't know why they put the PlayStation 6 in there because we're pretty confident that the PlayStation PlayStation 6 is not coming out to at least 2028. So it is down the road. Now, if AMD is announcing that they are enabling AI upscaling on their products, then it's safe to say that the next generation Xbox and the next generation PlayStation will have that in it. Now, the PlayStation 5 Pro is still a question mark, and I believe they're making an assumption here. And I just really want to point that out because I don't want people running with this saying that this is a hundred percent confirmation. It is not, it is speculation, but I don't think it's out of the question that the PlayStation 5 Pro could get this implementation of AI upscaling. Now we'll go down to the article because they basically repeat what I just said in the other article. So they say that while the PlayStation 5 Pro is almost certainly going to support AI upscaling, it is not going to run on the GPU as the Viola APU that will power the system has no MPUs. According to the known AMD leaker Kepler, while the leaker was dubious about AI upscaling and even being a thing for the console without Sony sharing its R&D efforts with AMD, today's statement seems to confirm how the companies actually work together on it. The PlayStation 5 Pro is rumored to be released later this year and will keep you up to date on what's going on, yada, yada, yada. So they're kind of speculating that AMD is talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro as well. Now, the PlayStation 5 Pro is rumored to come out this year. We have no confirmation, no official announcement that this is even a thing, but we've seen all the leaks and, you know, Kepler is a reliable leaker and the other people that leaked it out, it is a thing and it is coming later this year. Now, if AI upscaling is included on the PlayStation 5 Pro, that is going to be a game changer. I'll give you one example that should resonate with all gamers. The next GTA, GTA 6, when that comes out, if the PlayStation 5 Pro has AI upscaling abilities on its GPU, that game will run at 60 FPS. That's how much of a big deal this is. That's how confident I am to say that that game would run at 60 FPS and it would look great and it would be at a very high resolution. So this is great news for gamers in general, for people that have AMD hardware or for people that have invested in AMD, people that are waiting for the next AMD GPU. They will be supporting AI upscaling. Now, how will it perform compared to DLSS or uh, Intel's implementation with XESS? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, but I'm going to think it's going to perform well, if not better, because they've had a lot of time to develop their AI. And I think they've had a lot of help down the way. Say they got help from Sony. I know for sure they got help from Microsoft. In my honest opinion, I think the AI upscaling that's coming on AMD's next GPUs is going to be fantastic. Anyways, I wonder what you guys think about this. Like I said, this is a huge deal that it's coming to AMD on future hardware. It's a huge deal if this comes to the PlayStation 5 Pro. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.